So for over 30 years, the Minnesota Supercomputing Institute has been serving the community at the University of Minnesota and around the rest of the state of Minnesota, um, really in any research area people are interested in, um, as well as working with external partners, i.e. You know, companies, uh, to provide computational services when needed. And so we're part of sort of the main research computing group on campus um, and part of our Office of the Vice President for Research. Uh, we have a lot of different use cases that are hitting our file systems and our computers. Um, and as a result, there's fairly, really a very diverse need here in terms of what people expect out of our systems. So I am gonna name names a little bit here. Um, in that, so our main file system is 6.7 petabytes of Panassis. We actually have a little bit more than that and Graham will go into the details of that, but this represents sort of our active project space and our scratch computing space, uh, which uh, I have some details on in a second. So just in terms of job load, I've kind of looked up what the specs were per week. We have 30, 350 active users per week on average, amounting about 200,000 submitted jobs, which is about 2.2 million core hours. Um, and the text there is super tiny, but this is a plot of the different fields and how much CPU hours they're using each. Um, Why is chemistry, is it the lots of jobs or that each job is very, because it shows up as a lot of HPC work. Right, so it's, it's definitely both. Um, a mixture of them submitting gigantic job arrays and running software that simulations for like uh, chemical dynam like dynamic simulations that can be scaled really as large as whatever computing power is available. Um, and sort of in terms of storage usage, they actually represent a relatively smaller total usage case, though I think they can definitely um, make a lot of requests in and out. Um, but really in terms of our total usage is our genetics, health sciences, and biology that are really driving the, the largest consumption on our systems. Um, and here's kind of a chart that shows sort of that, um, a plot of who's using the most CPU hours on our system versus the total number of terabytes used by that discipline within our, our space. And so you can see chemistry, it's log scaled by the way, chemistry way off there to the right uh, with biology and all these different synonyms for biology basically representing the main usage on our system. And the, really the difference there is that biology is largely static sort of consumption. They tend to have reference files they load on that they access those same files over and over again, where chemistry and people in some of the other fields that are doing more like AI workloads are maybe writing millions of files and then deleting millions of files, but they might be small and, and, not, and there's a lot more churn going on. <laughs> 